Hi, I'm Daniel Overton from CR Kennedy, the Leica Geosystems distributor here in Australia. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the basics of using Cyclone Field 360 app with your BLK360 in the field. Now, one of the great things about working with Leica hardware and software is that there is plenty of online resources. So with this in mind, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel and we're just going to go through the basics of the Cyclone Field app. Now that we have launched our app and connected to our BLK360, we're ready to create a new project. So, couldn't be much simpler. Red plus button at the bottom. Here, we put in our project title. And if you like, create a title image. Now, we open that project. Now at the bottom of the screen, we have three buttons. We'll take a look at the one on the left first. Here we have all our scanner settings that we can configure. The first one on the left again is our resolution settings. We've got low, medium, or high. The next button across, imagery. Now note that it doesn't matter which resolution setting you've got selected, imagery will always add one minute. Next across again is HDR. This also increases your scan time. And lastly, our flash. I like to leave it on auto. So, a scan in this room, everything close range, low res with imagery is more than sufficient. So, to start our scan, we just hit the big red button. Now that our first scan is complete and the data is transferred to the iPad, we can have a bit of a preview of the data that's captured. First of all, we have our map view, which is just a top-down view. We have our 360 view, or our pano image view. Within this pano, we also have thermal data. And lastly, we have our 3D view. This is a sample of the point cloud that's captured so far. We also have a slider bar here to make the point cloud preview more or less dense. Now that we're happy with our first scan, we're ready to move to our second position. So we go back to our map view, first button on the left again for settings, and big red button to start again. Now that our second scan is complete and transferred over to our mobile device, we able to go through the linking process, or registration. Now one of the great things about Field 360 is the pre-align setting. Now as long as you're scanning in sequence and there is enough common geometry throughout scans, you've got this little button at the bottom called pre-align. It analyzes the two scans and tries to position them accordingly. Now you can see on the screen here we have our orange scan and our blue scan. The software's worked out where these two belong based on the, the common surfaces in the room. Now right now, we could straight away select Optimize and Create Link, but let's just take a quick look if we need to make any manual adjustments to this alignment. If I select on the centre of that second scan, I'm able to drag it around, and also with the wheel around the outside, rotate it. Now if you ever don't have enough common surfaces in your scans and you need to do this, you just drag roughly into position, hit optimize, it'll snap into position and create link. And now we have, instead of two separate scans, we have a bundle. We're able to preview this entire bundle in our 3D view and also jump in and out of our scan locations and take a look at our pano imagery. One other great thing about Field 360 is the ability to tag additional images within the scan. If I go into one of my scan setups and go to my pano imagery, now let's say I want some extra detail on this book over my shoulder here. I go into the scan location, select my 360 button or my pano imagery and hit this little pin button at the bottom. Here I'm prompted to create an image and take my photo. 
I'm now able to pin this image within the scan wherever I like. Now, within this point cloud, not only do I have my point cloud and my pano imagery, I've also got additional images positioned throughout the scan in their appropriate location. Once we've finished all our scanning on site and captured everything we need, it's time to bring our mobile device back to the office and connect it up to Register360 and upload all of our scans. <laughs>